Have you ever thought that Minecraft was just too big to explore? Yeah, me too. That's why I've decided to create a series in which I have to survive in one chunk. Figuring out a food source, how to get armor, and eventually, how to defeat the Ender Dragon. Fortunately for me, this border expands five blocks in every episode, but this is where the journey begins. So, for the first episode, we have a few objectives we need to complete. We need to explore the surface, explore the underneath, build a shelter, and figure out food. Roughly 90% of people watching this video aren't subscribed. You might watch my videos all the time and think you're subscribed, but you're not. So please take a moment and check if that's you. Subscribing only takes one click and we're on the way to 10,000 subscribers. Now, luckily we spawned right here in a village. Um, unfortunately, we can't get to any of the other village. Luckily we have a tree. Um, but I'm not seeing any water source. I'm also not seeing any grass on the ground that we can get seeds from. So we're just going to have to use the tree, uh, hopefully, for... And hope hope we get saplings back. And we actually got super lucky because this tree is halfway out of the border. Now, while waiting for that tree to decompose, we can hop up here, make us a crafting table, and make us the only wooden tool that we're ever going to need. And luckily, we were just able to get that sapling. And we just got super lucky in getting a bed. This bed was right next to the world border, which means it was so close to being out of the thing, out of the spawn. So at least we're not going to have to worry about phantoms. So that's a good sign. All right. And to go ahead and get what we need, we're going to go ahead and destroy what we can of this village house. All right, and with that done, we've fully explored the top. All right, now with the top explored, we can start heading down to the bottom. All right, and luckily for us, we actually found some coal, which is going to be very useful. Hopefully, this is a big vein of coal. Oh, yeah, it's looking to be like one. Oh, and it's right here on the border, too. Oh, we can't grab all the coal because some of it's outside the border. <laughs> And look what I just found. I just found a water source in a dripstone cave. Oh, Lord. Now, luckily, this is survival because if it wasn't, we would actually be dead. Now, I need to go down and get my supplies because that is all that I had. That skeleton totally finessed me. After multiple deaths that I just don't want to talk about, I finally got down here and I got my stuff back. I got it all lit up. Unfortunately, we don't see any iron down here. I noticed a lot of coal, which is going to be great. I do know, which I'm not sure if I'm necessarily ready for. There is more underneath. Look at this. Look how big this is going to be. The world is just going to keep expanding and we're going to be... <gasps> There's a mine shaft right there. It's it's just slightly outside. Let's go ahead and place some light down. At least we know for the episodes to come that there will be some uh, exciting things to come. This is a huge cave. I can already see some iron over there, and there's actually some redstone and more iron right there. We just can't reach that yet. So I guess we should just start heading down. I don't know if we can grab this redstone with a stone axe. Yep, that was, that was my fault. And from what I can see, it looks like we're also in an ancient city. And I just glanced over there, and there is, in fact, a creeper over here. I'm not looking forward to die. So, we're going to slowly make our way over here to where there's some iron. Our first bits of iron we have finally found. Unfortunately, right next to this creeper that is just itching to kill me. All right, and we're just going to take that creeper out just one hit, I guess. I don't know what happened. Okay, so luckily it's more than just a three vein. So at least we have enough right now to get a bucket. That bucket's going to be very crucial. All right, with being right here, we're going to continue to go down and see if there's any more hidden caves. Because right now we're only at zero zero. And 
looky there, we actually found some more iron. It would be me that finds the one vein of iron in this one chunk. Oh, well, there's the rest of it. The two vein. All right, our first bit of lapis, which I don't think we can get because we don't have an iron pick yet. So we're just going to leave it there for right now. All right, and we've made it down to bedrock. So now that we have an idea of what we have below us, I guess it's time to go back up. All right, and I just found a little part of the area that wasn't lit up, so I came up here to light it up, and I found more iron. So with that, that gives us a total of 14 iron to our name. All right, time to keep heading back up. Now, I'm not going to lie, I was digging straight up and found another part that I was not lit up. There's an Enderman in here, and I guess he's just trapped in here forever, so... I guess, you know, tell me what I should name my Enderman buddy down in the comment section below. Alright, and I want to stop right here real quick so that I can make a furnace to get this water. So we'll get this furnace, throw in some of our iron and our coal. And we should probably grab two buckets so that we can make an infinite water source. So there's our first bucket. Grab some of this water. And there's our second bucket of water just like that. So that right there is really all we need. We got our two buckets of water for an infinite water source. So I will see you guys when I'm back at the top. Just like that, we're back at the top. So now that we've explored the underneath, just like your mom, we can go ahead and check that off the list. The next objective we're gonna have to do is to build a shelter. To do this, I'm gonna wanna terraform the land. The first thing I wanna do is really just kinda flatten this out down to this level down here. And I'm gonna try my best not to get rid of the grass. I think there is some grass right. I think I wanna stay on this level so that all this grass stays right here. So, let's go ahead and get the terraforming. And just like that, our area is finally flattened out and terraformed to the land, except for maybe just like these parts right here. But this will in fact be just my staircase to get down to the mine. Now, with, we don't have a lot of items that we can use to build a house, but we do have a decent amount. Uh, it might look bad, but we're going to do the best that we can. All right, so with food being a problem, I'm thinking about building this on a three high and then just having a nice little farm underneath. So let's get to building. And just like that, our first real shelter is done. Obviously, it's not a home yet, it's not a base, it's just our shelter. And as the world expands, I wanted to leave this back part open so that we could also expand this house because this is just not gonna be big enough at all for us. But with the shelter complete, that checks off another objective off the list. All right, with that all organized, we can start going under here and replacing this grass with dirt. All right, and with that done, all we need to do is create an infinite water source, which should be just as easy as placing one there and one there, and then we have an infinite water source. Awesome. We need to make all this into bone meal. We got 15 bone meal. <laughs> and that baby zombie almost took me out. And you're never going to guess, but that baby zombie took all the seeds that we had and just made them disappear. So now after having 15 bone meal, we have four bone meal left and we have to hopefully get some seeds with it. Two, three, four. All right, so we ended up with four seeds, which is not as glorious as we had before, but it'll have to do for now. So now we can start hoeing this land and we can start planting our seeds. So with those planting, there's not much more that we can do. Alright, and with those seeds done, we finished the final objective of the video. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to watch the next video as this series has so much more to come. We've got an ancient city down below as well as a mine shaft and a village on the top. Let's see how far in this world we can go. With nothing left to say, I'll see you guys next time.